Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out my Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette. Here is the palette. It's honestly so pretty and the colors are so buttery smooth. I only used about three colors from this palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this look or if you'd like to see me use the Juvia's Place masquerade mini palette then just keep on watching so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids I'm just going to use my wet n wild um, this is the little single eyeshadow in um, brulee and I always use this so I'm just gonna like take a bunch of that and kind of a fluffier brush. I'm just gonna pat that all over my lid and I'm sorry, but I need a mirror. I'm gonna go into the shade, let's see here, Burkina, which is right here and it's like a soft um, matte brown. I'm just gonna put that in my crease. So I'm going to take Zobo, which is that matte purple shade, and I'm just going to go right over the other shade. Ooh, so pigmented. And I'm just going to bring this a little bit on the lower, um, I mean, up against the lash line, just a little. I'm just going to slowly try and build up that shade Zobo in the crease and um, like I said I'm going to bring it kind of like all the way in and I don't really know what we're doing here. So now I'm taking this like smaller defined crease brush, brush and I'm taking Zobo and I'm just kind of going in the outer corner and like deepening it up. Just making this color a bit more intense. And I think I'm actually going to do the same exact thing on the inside as well. I'm going to slowly start to incorporate this color just on the outer but inner part. I'm going to keep the innermost center clear because I think I'm going to use this shade Giza or Giza right in the center to really make the lids pop. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Eye Chrome, and this is in the shade Gilded Rose, and I'm going to put this right, like, directly in the center. This is, like, super brightening, and it's also kind of sparkly. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Okay, now while that's still a little bit tacky, I'm going to take another one of my Lamora brushes. I'm just going to like load it up with the shade. I'm going to start packing it right on the center, right on top of that color tattoo. And I'm just going to take a little bit, little bit of that on my fingertip and just put it, pat it like directly there. And then I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and Zobo and just kind of go around everything. I actually really like it because I feel like it's super simple and I keep going back and forth whether or not I wanna bring black into it, but I think that, um, I like the simplicity of not having black at all. So now it's time for the lower lash line. And I'm going to start by taking that um, matte brown shade again just to set that down as like a base. And 
And then I'm going to take this little blending brush that I was using earlier and I'm going to go back into the purple. And I'm actually going to take like a small angled brush and take that purple shade again and just like try and kind of like stamp it right underneath my lashes. And for the center part, I'm just going to take a little bit more of this color tattoo kind of thing. Try and match that up there. Then I'll go over it with just a little bit of that shimmer shade. I'm going to take Brulee and I'm going to set my lower lash line. I mean, I'm going to shut. I am going to set underneath my brow bone with this. And for the inner corner, I'm going to take this again. Kind of stamp it right there. Blend it with my finger. Now I'm going to take some mascara. This is just that Wet n Wild Max, Fac Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. I'm just going to coat my lashes. Now that the eyes are finished, I'm going to just finish up the rest of my face. And I'm going to contour using Benefit Hula. Then I'm just going to take the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and just kind of lightly, not too much, but I just want to bronze up my face just a little bit. And for oh my gosh. For blush, I'm going to use this Bare Minerals blush in the shade The Tease. And I actually like took this from my cousin. So it's kind of like more of a berry tone, more of a, like a purpley tone. And I was looking for something kind of purpley to go with the eyes. And for highlight, I'm going to take Mary Luminizer from the bomb. I'm just going to take this NYX um, lip liner. It's in the shade Nude Beige. I'm just going to line my lips with it. Alright, and for my lip I'm going to use the Lani Amore Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade 10, Adorable. This is like one of my go-to nude lip colors. It's like a favorite of mine and it works really well. I know a lot of people think these are super drying, but for me it's not like over drying. Like the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are so drying to me. These are not. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. This is like one of my favorite butter glosses. And I'm just going to put some like right in the center and then kind of blend it out. Thank you for coming back to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!